We came up with the project name and it was sort of like half of them, half of me. Socks to people on the street and she's like, socks to the street. Yeah, it sounds nice. Yeah. Like, it's got a ring to it, doesn't it? I was 11 and we started it last year. Seeing people on the street without like the things that me and you have, it's like we don't have like a warm jacket or money to go spend in a cafe, they've just got a pound in their hat. When we started it we said socks and underwear, but then as it grew bigger we sort of moved on from socks and underwear, hat scarves and gloves then sleeping bags, then thermals, and then toiletries. So that went from just two items that are really good to hold other 10 items that are really good and keep you warm. We go to different charities to hand out socks. St Paul's Cathedral and different places there. But also it's just up and down the street because some people, if like the ex-army men, they're trained to not need help in the harshest of conditions. So they're not going to go to a charity and say, I need help. They're trained to say, I don't need help. So I think we approached them a lot. Last year, there was an army man that died of hypothermia because he was refusing help. And the week before, we had given him socks. So that's what happens. Now I've learned not to judge them because there's people that have left their houses because their family are taking drugs. They've left the houses because of an argument that wasn't their fault and it's different things that can affect them. So you should like learn not to judge them. They're still human beings. They've still got like favorite football teams because there was one guy, I gave him blue socks and he said, can I swap these? Because these are Rangers colors and I'm a Hib Hibs fan. And, um, so they swapped them out and he was really happy, so. Any good deed that you do, big or small, makes you feel good. And I think this is a big thing that I'm doing, so it makes me feel really good that I'm doing this. In total in the past two years, probably about 6,000 pairs of socks, the equivalent in underwear. A thousand hats, probably about 200 sleeping bags. People can donate through the Amazon wish list or they can send packages to my school, Leith Academy. You have got a dinner waiting for you, a warm bed waiting for you. They've got like a breakfast bar and a street waiting for them. At the end of the day, it's like you've all just got to come together and we're all human beings. Just get along with each other.